all right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right now so here's another video that was sent to me by my good friend yogi and yogi thank you for the video now the video deals with a fraud it being done at a post office yes a post office and if you're like me uh, then i hate post offices because uh, everybody interprets post a seven to their own uh, liking and uh, another uh, reason is that the damn postal employees don't uh, the majority of them don't even know post a seven their damn self and the frauders pretty much get away with doing their frauded now uh, uh, the frauder in question here is nh press now press nh now uh who again i say my good friend yogi is uh, uh keeping an eye on and in this video here uh, according to yogi he uh broke the law and uh he could get up to uh three to three and a half to seven years and uh i want you guys to uh let yogi know if he is correct or is he uh mistaken let's jump in the video and uh let's let yogi know our responses at the end of the video what's going on everyone this is press nh now over here today in nashua new hampshire at the post office today we're going to be conducting a first amendment audit to see if they respect our rights to film here in public today's date is May 26th, 2023. All right, let's go inside, look at Post 7 and get a stamp. Here you go, man. Thank you. Sorry. What do you mean? I saw you filming outside. You can't be inside filming. I literally, no literally just walked in here, man. No, you can't be filming inside. I saw you out in the parking lot. Can I ask? Can I ask? Can I ask Sorry, now? can can you relax and let me talk? Sure. You asked me what I was doing, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't even give me a chance to talk. Okay. I literally just walked in here. All right, stop the film then. Hello? It's it's recording, which is digital. Mm -hmm. It's not film. Stop the digital film. Oh, you've got to address it. it. Okay, can I ask who you are, please? No, address no. in the pack. You can, after you stop the filming, you can talk to me. Then I have nothing else to say to you. All right, then leave the I don't even know who you are. Leave the building, please. No, this is a public building. I have business here. You're inside of the building? Yep. You were filming outside already. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? Do you know your rules state that I could do this? Your postmaster? No, I'm not the postmaster. She's not here today. Your postmaster is a supervisor, right? No. Oh. Another supervisor, another supervisor. Another supervisor? Mm -hmm. Okay. What was your name? Doesn't matter. You're not going to tell me your name. You're not going to tell me why you're recording, so I'm not going to tell I, you I, I, I'd like to show you why I was recording. Can I show you? And sure. just help educate you so you, this doesn't happen? Sure. Right. Try it over here. Your rules of regulations, conduct on... Well, just tell me why you're recording. I well, I, I can't... Me. I could tell you, but it just literally states it right over here. Why are you recording? Yeah. Look, I'm, I like to educate people, okay? I don't like to have huge debates about things. I follow the law. This is the law. It's the rules, regulations, governing conduct on postal property. Photographs for news advertising or commercial purposes. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, quarters, or auditoriums when used for public meetings. Okay. All right, so let me pause the video here where I think we could all agree on that the supervisor, the supervisor should have took it upon himself and physically read that uh, little section that the frauditor was quoting. And he would have noticed that the frauditor, he stopped, stopped, okay, he only read half of that uh, paragraph there where it states, photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings uh, don't you guys find that funny that they always stop there after the public meetings they don't want to continue after that because they know they know in my opinion that if uh, they were to continue whereas it states uh, except we're prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or 
other authorized personnel or federal court order or rule. Now, I ain't even going to go any further because the rest, in my opinion, is an overkill, damn it. Because right there, we're, uh, we're a state security force personnel or authorized personnel. In my opinion, authorized personnel is the key word there, okay? I'm going to consider this uh, supervisor here, authorized personnel of that postal facility. And what he says should go. No questions asked. But as we all notice, the frauditors, uh, they don't go further than the meetings because they know, hey, uh, they know they're not really technically supposed to be doing what they're doing. That the post employees have that right to kick them out, damn it. Okay? And I get angry at the postal employees that don't even make, I mean, we all just saw it, damn it. The supervisor just went for what the, the uh, frauditors stated. Didn't even bother reading it. So again, I say that's why I hate these damn videos, okay? And uh, thanks a lot, Yogi, for uh, rubbing it in my face with this one here again, okay? But let's get back to the video. Yeah. That's why I'm doing it, because I can't. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, mm -hmm. is this all public yeah. accessible or is yeah, that? I, mean, the is I, I just want to make sure. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Just want to make sure I'm not going into any restricted areas. Okay. Thank you. All right, so let me pause the video here, whereas uh, we have noticed the frauditor approach signage uh, before the uh, office there where they do uh, passports. And that, uh, that signage there is clearly stating, stop, please wait here until called forward. It doesn't state that if uh, that office area is empty, nobody's there, that you can walk in. It doesn't also state that if uh, you don't have any uh, passport business, then you can still walk in there. It doesn't say any of that, no. It's clearly is written there, stop. Please wait here until called forward. I mean, any normal person like us, we understand there that you have to wait there until you are called, and then you uh, do whatever you're going to do. But the frauditor... He has his own uh, interpretation, and as we've noticed in other videos where the frauditor likes to go into these uh, locations and tell the people that uh, pretty much post the signage what those signs really mean. Oh, ain't that some bullshit where the people come off the street and tell the people that actually put the signage in play what the sign means. Hey, you can't make this up. Ma'am. Behind the stop sign until I call you, please? I don't need your help. The stop sign is in the hallway until I call you. This is a public area, okay? Yes, I suggest you sign. I suggest you stop, okay? Okay, I'm calling the supervisor. Go ahead. There's He's, a stop sign in the hallway. I don't care reason. about your stop sign. There's nobody in here. You guys are going to learn one way or another that I'm allowed to be here if you like it or not. You understand? I'm not saying you're not allowed to be here. I'm then, saying then, there's a stop then, sign in the hall. I don't care about your stop sign. Back. And don't bark at me either. I'm not barking at you. What's up, Mike? You want to get her under control, please? What's up? I asked him to step behind the stop sign because he's going to private information. Then keep it private. Yeah, but they're doing passports here. So. Okay. There's nobody even in here. I don't know if there was or wasn't just now. No, there wasn't. She's making a spectacle of herself okay. in, in this department. So what's going on? Nothing. I, her. I know, but you left and then... Well, I went out there to get a stamp and I'm back in here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're going to keep filming? If I want to. Okay. Yeah. I know, but if, okay. but if customers... No, 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 no. See, that's not how that works, man. This is why I'm trying to teach you guys, okay? Your memo is obviously not all the way through. There's no expectation of privacy in public, all right? That information that she needs to keep private is the onus is on her and you, not correct. me. No, no, correct. 
All right, so let me just jump back in here real quick, whereas I'm sure we have all heard these frauditors spit this BS out that uh, the onus of protecting people's privacy is on the employees. It's their problem. They have to create the privacy for the public. Now, uh, shit, that signage there, that state stop, wait until you're called forward shit in my opinion the employees trying to create the privacy okay but this individual has it in his head that if uh, he's not there to do any passport or uh, business that hey i don't need to wait because i'm not here to do any business dealing with uh passports so i can walk in there hey it's bullshit in my book it's bullshit i would have kicked them right out okay again these employees, when they tell them, hey, there's no recording here, again, I'm going to say, in my opinion, they're trying to create the privacy to protect people's uh, information. But these frauditors, regardless of whatever you tell them, they're always going to come back with some bullshit. Tell me that's not some bullshit, damn it. So, well, that's figure out a different way then. I don't know what to tell you. The only thing I know... I'm not here for private information anyway, yeah. okay? So if oh, I... No, no, I know that. No, well, you don't know that, but I'm I, just I, telling you, right? To, to I make know, you... I don't think you're no, trying to get No, I'm not trying to get... What I'm saying is, I don't want people feeling uncomfortable. Other people... Other people. You know what? It's Memorial Day not weekend. Us. People not have us. died less on Monday, okay, for Memorial Day uh -huh. to exercise their rights. I am doing a constitutionally protected activity, yeah. okay? Somebody's feelings are not going to trump my rights today. Yeah, yeah. Especially this weekend. The second that I give up my rights, okay, yeah. is the second that we lose them. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm not. Hey, I'm not I'm okay with that. Not losing rights. Well, that's. They, and there's, you know what? In her comment right there is irrelevant anyway because nobody even in here. See, that's why I was asking what was going on. That's why I was asking what was going on. So. Well, I mean, there's no reason to escalate things. There really isn't. I'm literally in here being as quiet as I can, not disturbing her. I'm not trying to. I mean, that's why I came in here because right. I don't know what was going on. Definitely not want to try to escalate. I, no, I, I know, ma'am. Okay. I could tell. And the only reason is because you've been trained. No problem. You know? Because if Sir, you want. I need you to step behind the stop sign. This is a lot of private information, please. Then keep it private, ma'am. No, sir. That's why this is done this way. It's private information. I need you to step behind the stop sign. That's why there's a stop sign. This is their choice. If they don't want you in here, you need to step behind the stop sign. We're dealing with social security numbers, birth certificates. It's private information. Keep it private, ma'am. Sir. Go talk to the supervisor. Stop engaging with me, please. You've already been told twice now. Supervisor from the general office, please. If you'd like, to, we're gonna we're gonna go into the other office. Okay. Oh, a private area. I didn't call you, man. Oh, Amy, what? Amy? Yes. Did you page me? Yes. Oh. This gentleman is here, and these people do not belong on camera. It's one thing for me, not for them. They're not employees. I know. Yeah, man. This this is exactly why I do what I do. Yeah, this one. Really had a chance to talk. I know. I know. Well, and I and I think you will. I seen you talking to the other staff. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I haven't really had a chance to, have, to talk to it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but we'll, I, I we'll, know you will. We'll learn from this, that's all. That's, that's all I'm looking for, that's man, all right? All right. Um, what was your name again? Lou? Lou. Lou. All right, Lou. I thought it was Lou. All right, Lou, thank you. I appreciate all right. it. All right. Every time I come in here, she leaves, and then... <laughs> well, I did, I did tell her, you know, we're going to have a passport, so take me to a private room. So is that, like, an office over there that yeah. they can use for, like, privacy? Oh, yeah. There you go, man. Oh, no, that's it. Yeah, that's exactly what you need to do, you know, if, right. if she's so concerned about it. You know, if she can't obviously do her job without saying some stuff that she shouldn't be saying out loud, mm -hmm. then maybe she should go in there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I appreciate it. All right, now, so let's look at the big picture here, whereas uh, the frauditor and this uh, so-called supervisor, which in my opinion is uh, full of shit, they ought to knock him down and rank and put him out there to deliver mail while he could use the exercise, okay? Whereas, uh, again, I'm going to say both of them are in the office area where they handle uh, passports, okay? <laughs> and again, that signage has to come into play because, uh, again, as we noticed, that customer was uh, about to take care of business and that sign again would hold people back 
from going on there and uh, seeing things they shouldn't be seeing. And uh, uh, again, this guy's got it in his head that he can do whatever the hell he wants to do. And uh, yeah, the lady took it upon herself to take her into a different office, but that ain't got nothing to do uh, with passports. That's a whole different office there, okay? Uh, again, that signage, it, it right there is creating the privacy. And this uh, supervisor, hey, in my opinion, at the end of the video, which I cut out because I'm I'm trying to make the video short, okay? The supervisor, oh, I've seen your videos before, blah, blah, blah. Kiss his ass all you want, buddy, okay? Again, I say, uh, never, never did he state post a seven. He, he doesn't realize that he has the authority to kick this guy uh, out of that post office, but... Uh, he preferred to kiss his ass and uh, praise him and or whatever. Uh, uh, I hope he loses his damn job. Maybe he can go out there and uh, record post offices of his damn self. But, again, our good friend Yogi stated that uh, in New Hampshire, it's a two-party state. Two-party state, okay? That customer has a say-so in uh, being recorded and audio recorded, okay? And uh, again, Yogi pointed out that uh, he broke the law here and that uh, if convicted, if they were to push the issue and he got convicted, he can get three and a half years to uh, seven, okay? And this brings up to uh, wiretapping, okay? And if you remember that frauditor that I uh, I worked on, a uh, shit, a couple of weeks ago, uh, not the end of freedom, uh, the guy who wanted to continue recording when the police, uh, state police were interviewing a uh, family uh, dealing with a runaway, and they tried to create privacy by uh, getting away from him, and he continued to follow him, he got arrested, and he is now facing... 15 years okay and unfortunately a lot of these individuals you got to hit them with that kind of time so that this shit sinks in their head that uh listen this shit is unacceptable okay nobody's trying to violate their rights okay but in my opinion people have the right to privacy okay but these guys hey again i say anytime you uh you try to bring up their uh you know what's right and what's good for the people uh they want to bring up some bullshit as if you're uh, trying to violate their rights so again i say guys let me know your thoughts on the video as well as if you think yogi has got a uh a leg to stand on this one if uh you feel that uh the frauditor was wrong and should get that three and a half to seven Again, I say, let me know your thoughts on the videos, and thank you, Yogi, and I'll see you in my next video. Man, I have faith in you, man. I really do. Yeah. I, I haven't met a lot of um, supervisors, never mind postmasters. You know, Where else have you been? I've been a lot you of don't them. Know me no, no, I've been. I can't, I can't tell you off the top of my head, man. It's just. I don't are you from New Hampshire? I, I live in New Hampshire. Okay. Not from originally.